Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bleak Burn and today we are getting back to the Bullstrom family in this beige house here there and last time when we left them off they just moved into this house and we need a little bit of a recap because it's been a while and we are going to go over here to YouTube and <laughs> check how this episode ended so they were moving out of this house and I was ending the video <laughs> and then Bye. I moved them in <laughs> <laughs> and when you move a family in, it automatically loads the lot. <laughs> and this happened. So Chanel tried to kiss Niklas. And he is married to Katarina here. So, uh, and Chanel is his foster daughter. So it's a bit, a little bit of an awkward situation. And l let's, let's just get into it and see what happens. Also, they are, uh, they got set to Monday here. But it should actually be Saturday morning. So I'm gonna change that. This is the season it's supposed to be winter so we're setting the season to winter and it's supposed to be three days left of winter so we set season length to three there there's three days left in winter and we also need it to be saturday and for that we need a day changer i don't seem to have one let's just buy one real quick day setter it looks like this and i don't see one already there. <laughs> Why is this on the floor then? That's weird. Anyway, so we are going to set it Saturday there. And as you can see, uh, sh oh, this is Debbie. This is Mindy. <laughs> this, this is Chanel. Uh, she just, do, does she have a memory already of it? Gandalf got engaged, got rejected for the very first kiss by Nicholas. So in front of his wife, no less. So I'm just gonna um, unpause and see what they do. Yeah, that didn't go well, did it? <laughs> but Katarina didn't seem to mind. Okay, well, that was uh, uneventful. But let's see, I need to reshake what their lifetime wants is. So she wants to be a... She wants to have 50 dream dates. And that could be with anyone. And I hate, I hate that we don't have a meter here. I think we have, yeah, so we could go through her memories and check if she has had like many dream dates, I guess. But who's gonna do that for 50 dream dates? Um, it, that's, that's too much work. But that's what she wants to do. So she like, she's a pleasure sim. She doesn't really, does she have a job? Yeah. Niklas, on the other hand, he wants to marry off six children. And in order for him to do that, he needs to first have children. And as it so happens, Niklas has tried for baby three times. So if he hasn't managed to make a woman pregnant yet, then it means that he can't do that. And I think that he wants to adopt. Now, he has gone and uh, moved in Debbie here and I do believe she's an orphan so he could adopt her. I I don't want to like fully adopt these other other ones because I want to like preserve the, the family tree which means that the game won't recognize that these are like sort of his children even though he, he did foster them. So that's an issue for him. <laughs> <laughs> because if I do adopt them, their family tree changes and I don't like that. I think it does. I'm pretty sure. So, okay. But the rule for uh, truly orphans, like Debbie here, she got sick when, when she first got into this family. She had an illness, but I think she's better now, I hope. Um, but the rule is that if, uh, if you get the relationship up to friends, then you can adopt them. And I think it's sufficient to only do that with one of the parents yeah <laughs> i think that's a good rule do you think it's a good rule otherwise leave a comment and say what the rule should be if it should be like yes they have been here for like five days and then it's fine or something i did note in my little spreadsheet that she is on foster day one and i think i had some kind of thoughts about that like if, if everything goes well but i think that if she if they manage to befriend her that then they can adopt her and if uh if they like become enemies or something then she goes back to the orphanage 
<laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen. So that's what he, he wants to do. And since he has, they have a little bit of money. Like he got to get a move on, <laughs> I think, because he is, he's 43 years old. And like he wants to marry off six children so that like it's a time crunch <laughs> before he dies. So I think like we, we should try and adopt as much as we can. But in order to do so, the rule is that you need to have a bed for the adoptive child and you have to have money for it. Hang on. I did make rules for it. Oh dear, that's the long list. Okay. Uh, but the adoption fee is a thousand simoleons. In order to adopt, a sim needs to fill these criteria. They must own the thousand uh, simoleons for the fee. They cannot have any loans, do they? No, I don't think they have loans. Uh, there must be an available bed for the child in their house. The bed must be indoors, so we can't just put the bed on the on the lawn. And there must also exist in the house. Shower, toilet, fridge, stove, counter, something fun. At least a bookcase. And the, these rules are just because, like, so you don't adopt a bunch of kids having nothing. The sim must invite um, the orphanage intendant over for a successful inspection and the inspection will fail if any of the required items are dirty or broke or dirty or broken. Oh dear. So you gotta clean first. There is unpaid bills on the lot. So, so if she goes, well, you haven't paid your bills, then you cannot adopt. After all the above has been met, switch over to the orphanage, summon the adoptive parents over and have all the children interact with them for three hours. Then switch back to the adopting household and check what child they like best. And we just count the relationship meters, basically. Adopt that child and transfer a thousand to the orphanage. And there's a way to do the adoption over here. But as I said, I added the additional rule of you don't, you just summon them over first and you have a foster thing. And basically why I did that is just because I wanted to be in consistency with, with the other children over here that is just fostered and not adopted. Kind of complicated. I think what he wants to do, like he needs money uh, to ha have the money to adopt and like they, they need to expand their house because right now they have, they don't have all the beds that they need. We need need to actually add another bed so we need to like I think we should make should we make this room bigger no I think we should uh, build another room over here I think that is the most appropriate action and since he wants to adopt a lot of them we could put two beds this this is um, a little bit oh Oh, I can't just press B like in The Sims 4 to get to the wall tool. What is this nonsense? In my other save of a Pleasant View, I had uh, I had a similar situation and they were just adding small rooms like this. It's fine. <laughs> it's not very nice of them, but you know, did I make this room bigger than it needs to be? That's that's also fine. Yeah, I did. This is kind of awful, but it's just for sleeping. It's fine. You, you won't die from sleeping in a small room. Unless there's no air. Let, let's put in a window to be nice. <laughs> now, that, that, that solves everything, doesn't it? Uh, I want the same door. Should we have a little dresser? There, how lovely. It doesn't want to go the way I want to go. Oh no, no. Why is it like this? There we go. So they actually have the money to adopt another kid. And I'm just gonna assume that uh, Katarina is not pregnant. Mm. I don't know. You know, she might be, but um, then that, that would be a bonus. If, if she was. Hey, what are they doing? Do we have an... Oh, we, we gotta have an ACR adjuster, right? Do we? Bon adjuster? We didn't have one. What do we want? Usually do the... We can have it upside. That's fine. There. <laughs> oh, they have pets as well. Do we have food for the pets? Um, doesn't seem we do. <laughs> well, that's kind of awful. Mm. Just gonna fix that real quick. This seems to be the pet corner. Do cats and dogs eat from the same bowl? I can't remember. Well, fill this bowl and we'll see what happens then. <laughs> okay, apparently I put a drum kit outside. And these are having a discussion. Like, it seems like Katarina didn't mind at all that Chanel just tried to kiss her husband. I guess that she was just like, well, you are are a, a misguided child and I don't really care <laughs> because as you can see she has been with quite a lot of people and she hasn't broken it off with them 
So, I mean, that's just... Where's her font? <laughs> okay, that's that's just what's going on. Mindy wants to, to go to college. Oh, she is 19 and she... Really? And she wants to go to college. And I do believe I put some money in for her in a, an account. I think we need a computer. This might eat up all our money, though. I have noted that she has 5,000 in her bank account. Because when they were on vacation, she found a lot of treasure. So she got a bit of money. It says here she has 8,000. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to assume that that's just like what the family thought they owed her for finding all that treasure. Now they can't adopt <laughs> anymore, but it's, it's fine. They will gather those monies soon. Since Mindy is 19 and she wants to go to college, I think maybe we should put her in there. Um, so where's the phone? Do we have a phone over here? Well, when you move into a new house, there's apparently a lot of things that you gotta buy. Do we put it in the kitchen? Sure. So she could click on the phone, choose college under the call option and then move to college. Okay, call college. But first we gotta see if she can get any more scholarships. So. Let's do that first. Congratulations, Mindy. You qualified for the Orphan Sim Assistance Fund. You will receive a grant of 1,500 towards your next semester in college. That is awesome. So then I think we could just move her to college. So we gotta move her in so we can call her if we wanted to. I don't think I have... Do I have college? Do you want to do this? Oh. Yes. Because she's 19 and it's time. <laughs> and I don't remember if I have a college um, household. So uh, we, we need to go uh, check that <laughs> real fast. I haven't noted one. Maybe she's the first one to ever go to college in this save. We... Oh, uh, she is not. We have a college over here. It's the Desert University. <laughs> the Ödemarks Universitet. Yes. And we have a student corridor with some students. I think... Oh. So we have Anton Selinder in here. Okay. I think the way I have been handling this is like when I have a played sim that goes to college, I move them in here and whoever is in this dorm like age accordingly while my sims are in college. I, I don't exactly know why I did like that, but... <laughs> Uh, that's how I've been doing it, apparently. This is the only dorm I have. You know what, I'm gonna mark all these as to be townies when they uh, graduate. It's gonna be fine. So we put her in here. Would you like to combine the Schoen ho household with the students? Yes. Wait, did she have any money? She has 2,000. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just took some money with her when she moved out. Probably what happened. So let's just fix her monies and stuff. Oh, we oh. Since we moved her into a, an existing household, we didn't get the animation. Aw. Oh. Well, that, that's fine. And this will have to be her door. This household is on evening time. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what happens is I have a mob that makes her be like this. So it, she starts out with 37 hours to final exam. It's fine. Okay, so every year in college is obviously counted as one year. Even though it's like 37 hours and not 24 hours. Like So time works differently in college. <laughs> Straight up like that. So we're going to need to figure out how to... Uh, mark this and the order here is like the lowest one we do last and I think we should put university at zero I have also orphanage at zero um doesn't really matter we need a new color for university are we gonna do blue maybe we do blue winter and it's three days left of winter and instead of Saturday, we mark for each student that it's year one. So every time they move up a year or get put on probation, we increase their age over here. So we can, we can remove this and we note that she started uni 
at age 19. In case I get confused later. What happens if I do the sorting script now? Right, here are also some rules that I have written down. Now she, remember she had 2000 with her when she moved into this household. So we should deposit that. However, uh, the term fee for college is 500. And the way we work that is that we just uh, remove 500 from everybody's bank accounts or take out loans if they don't have money for it. Mindy has money, so she will probably not have to take any loans. And then we add it to the household fund so we can pay bills and buy stuff and all that. So we deposit only 1,500 for her. And that means she has paid her tuition fee or whatever it's called. Deposit 500 there. And that means that she now has 9,500 in her bank account. And I think she's set over here and the reason that I, yes, we say, the reason why I move her in immediately is like if we don't do that, then we can't call her from her other family and because she doesn't have a phone when she's in the bin. So that's why we move her in there. And that's why I didn't buy a bed for her <laughs> because I knew she was going to move out. Okay, well, so now I have an extra bed. Apparently. It's fine. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, he wants a baby, of course. So, like, I'm go I'm not gonna... St I've decided I'm not gonna stop them if they try for baby on their own. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to assume that mm -hmm. they can't have children. And that's why he wants to adopt and stuff. Oh, she's really upset now. Okay. Buy a refrigerator. Oh, they don't have a refrigerator either. Oh dear, <laughs> they're not gonna have any money when I'm done. Um, color yellow. It's so ugly. Oh no, did I do the? What what is this? Let's just have it like this. They have no money now. Okay, so they need to like who's going to work soon? Well, he's he's actually set to go to work this afternoon. Oh, that's good. And now she's he's talking to her. It's fantastic. I don't remember <laughs> how to. Um, how to adopt either but i think there's some modded object that i can use oh they are cute together oh no and there's bills as well well uh chanel you make yourself useful and get mail what does she want to do her lifetime want is to be become a world-class ballet dancer and she is in the right career and she has fulfilled everything to get promoted and now she just needs to go to work at 8 a.m shouldn't she be at work then i'm gonna send her to work because i think it's unfair that they miss work just because at when you move them they move in at 8 a.m and she starts at 8 a.m so like she missed the whole trigger thing i should have kept track on that but I did not, so she's gonna be late. But it's it's better that she goes than not, I guess. Now, Debbie here, she... Oh dear, how old is she? Debbie is just 13, so uh, she really wants to go to college and she wants to get into a private school. So we could work on that, actually. Like, that would be impressive if we get her into a, a private school. When we want to adopt the next kid, that will be impressive. So that, that, that will be a benefit to us. Invite headmaster. Mm. And do we have money to pay the bills? No, we don't. Chanel is late for work. Yes, I know that. But it is Saturday. The local private school headmaster is interested in coming over. The local private school headmaster is interested in coming over for dinner. Do you feel like entertaining? If so, there might be an admittance to the private school in the works. Yes. We do want that. Um, so he will be over at 5 p.m. What does she want? She wants to buy stuff, win a dance contest. But you know what? You were in Platinum. I'm not gonna try and fulfill any of your needs. He wants to see snow and win a gaming competition. How do I do that? Your sim wants to win a gaming competition. To do this, have your sim compete with other sims in a gaming competition on the computer. Oh, also the dog aged up. Where's the dog? Oh dear. Here's the dog, Buster. All right, okay, well, play. But how do I compete? We can also p find pet jobs. Should we do that? I think we should because he needs money for his adoptions and stuff. 
fan pet job for Tusse. I no one had a uh, want for specifically that, but I think that we should like just try to get money here. So I, I, since he wants to have a lot of children, he needs money. So he wants this. I'm bending the rules. It's fine. Uh, showbiz, yes, of course. The cat is gonna be in showbiz, and then the dog will have the next job. Find a pet job for Buster. Will it be the same ones? Yes, but okay, so they, it, we're not allowed to take the same one because it's boring. <laughs> so, someone else is gonna take the next one. Yes, they eat the same food. Interesting. There is an opening in the service career track as a vermin chaser. Well, that, that seems perfect for him. All right, and now we can check if they need to. Oh, she needs to learn to speak. Speak. All right. Okay. Maybe you could take care of that because I don't think there's any homework to be done now because she haven't she hasn't gotten any yet. So she could like teach, command, speak, and now dog needs to learn to shake. So Katarina, you could do that. Teach, command, shake. Oh. Nikos, what are you gonna do? Oh, nothing? Alright. We need to remember to, to cook some food before the headmaster comes. Who has the best cooking skill? Oh, Nicholas is very good at cooking. So he is gonna make the food. Maybe we should do that now already. So we could make group meal. If you make it, they won't serve it. And oh dear, he can make a lot of things. I Sometimes I just do the grandma's comfort soup because that's always good. Everyone loves that all the time. Pork shops. I think that's impressive, don't you? If you can make really good pork shops. Like it's actually very hard because when you make um, red meat, you can just, you know, make it medium rare. And it's juicy and it's all nice and stuff. But when you make pork, you can't do that because of the bacteria you need to kill. So you need to cook it through and through. But it can't be overcooked because then it's very dry. So if you can make really good pork shops, that's uh, impressive. There, he made it. Now he goes away. Well, that was that. <laughs> okay, what is happening? Here's the carpool for Nicholas. Please go to work. Stop smooching with your wife. When does he get home? Oh, he doesn't get home until later, so it's lucky that I thought to do the pork shops before he went away. Um, yeah. Maybe you could help your husband by getting getting friendly with Debbie because if you can make friends with her then we can finalize the adoption as I've just decided. Uh, you don't seem healthy. Oh Chanel has brought a friend home from work today and she has returned from work uh, and earned 250 today. How about her bank account? Does she have one? No, I think she has like contributes to the family while living here she she doesn't have she doesn't seem to have any like ambition to move out or anything so i think she's just content with like living here and uh contributing to the family helping out and stuff and all she wants to do is be a great dancer and now she has brought home vivian vivian bengtsson from work Bless. Good to have friends, I guess. And this awful uh, hair recolor is one that I made uh, back in the day. And I know how it's awful, but I love it because it's uh, one of my creations. That, that's just things humans do. Hey, what's everyone's hobby? So, uh, oh, Chanel? doesn't have a hobby? Really? I thought it was music and dance, but apparently not. Debbie likes science. That's probably why she wants to go to school and everything. She is a fortune sim. And uh, Katarina doesn't have a hobby. Nicholas likes tinkering. All right. It's all good to know. Oh, she's friends with her now. Okay. All right. I'm going to figure this out now. <laughs> There's a memory manipulator. I think we need that. Do we do it with the sim blender though? I mean, maybe. How is it? Family? Debbie? Set as my child? We can just do that. I mean, can I do that with Nicholas even though he's not home? Yeah, it seems to be able to do that. Cool. Set as my child? See, now these are her parents now. 
Awesome. So now we just need to add good memory from base game adopted. All right. And then it's important that I do this right. Debbie. We adopted Debbie. It's Anna. There. She have the memory now. Adopted Debbie. Fantastic. Does Debbie get affected by this in any way? Nope. So we do that from for him as well. Where was it? adopted but he will not probably do this until he gets home but that's fine and then should she get a memory from this i think she, we should have her get a memory like she has a memory of moving in will there be a was adopted i don't know i'm just gonna do the came back home thing like because i i can't find a i was adopted um maybe had a family reunion something I, i'm gonna do came back home like she was lost and now she's found or something like this <laughs> and, and this signifies that she was adopted in here so now she has a family tree isn't that amazing so now if she gets married that will count towards uh nicholas wants to to marry off six children oh this is interesting chanel's uh colleague in the dance career says that she she also works in a discount home furnishing, furnishings warehouse. She must be like moonlighting or something. If your household ever needs to buy anything for your home, I'll make sure that your household gets it at a low cost. Now, I think we can remove the sim blender. We can just have it here in case we need it. <laughs> we'll probably need it again. Oh, there's, there's space here that I can do. Looks a bit better. There we go. And the, the headmaster is about to come over. Oh, we have money to pay bills now. I don't think anyone has any loan. I did check, but I'm gonna recheck. Oh, she, she has a Sir Bricks a lot. She also has a deed to corner house. All oh, right, they have this uh, vacation home that they can go to. They have a bed for the dog over here and a map to pagoda in the shadows. Okay. Oh, she can't afford it. Oh, I, I misread these numbers. I thought this was a five. <laughs> it was not. Okay, so we have bills. Can we like put them somewhere better? No, can't bring them in or anything. Well, this will be a nice surprise for for Niklas when he gets home that he uh, that the adoption got finalized uh, thanks to Katarina here. I think Niklas is going to be very happy about that. Mikke, the headmaster, has arrived for dinner. Good luck. You should prepare a tasty dinner and show Mikke a good time. Maybe you could give Mikke a tour of the house. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do that. Oh, uh, Katarina is not because she is going to go to work apparently. So I think Chanel will try and take care of that. So greet him. Oh, what's this? Something is broken. Clean that up. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what was that? Was it important? I don't know. There. Now we need to have a nine total point score of 90 and we will, uh, can we like entertain and give a tour? start with that i think he's gonna be very impressed with the drum set oh oh also nicholas is working late with a few co-workers when they all decide to order some food nicholas is placed in charge of getting the food should nicholas go with a standard pizzas or order some more daring ethnic food well uh seeing as who he is i think he's gonna go with the ethnic food nicholas is tired of pizza and thinks most of his co-workers are too he orders some ethnic food instead only to discover that many of his co-workers don't particularly like spicy food well why did you order spicy food okay nicholas ordered a lot of spicy food and most of it goes to waste nicholas loses some cuisine enthusiasm oh, oh that's awful what happened here did he didn't like that okay but show this room show the outside this, this is the outside okay and then we go to uh, this room oh, come here please i'm gonna show you the hallway where we have some hmm. random stuff there show this room <laughs> we also have the computer in here and that's impressive you know so what room should we show next is this a different room is it the same room because there's no door here i think so yeah so no use showing that let's go there and then look we have a bedroom i don't think it's gonna be impressed by that but okay let's go here you only get to show so many rooms and then he goes oh the tour is over so you gotta think about that 
Uh, is Katarina available to talk? No, she is not. Showroom. Oh, he liked that room. What do you think about this bathroom? Is it nice? Oh, I like that too. Well, fantastic. See, now he, he didn't get to see this room, but I don't think it would impress him, so I skipped it. All right, um, so we could do the, the, how do I get it out? Get leftovers, I think. Serve the pork chops. If you could get out of the way, please, so that I can serve some food. <laughs> I, it, it's fantastic that it's still like oozing, like it was newly made. It's been in the refrigerator for hours. Well, okay, um, how do I do, do I call for dinner? There. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 come come here and eat. And what are you doing? Eat this. Okay, uh, grab a plate. <laughs> Let's have a nice dinner together with the headmaster. Yes, get reminded about the bills. I know we have bills. Should we like try and talk to him? Nah. We don't do, we don't talking to the headmaster. No, that's unnecessary. Uh, don't throw food. I don't think that's a good idea. Entertain. Oh, make a toast. That will impress him. Ooh. I think we should change Debbie's last name. She should be a Bostrom now. Her last name is really weird. Um, copy a first name to lock. Okay, I'm go I'm gonna change that in CD later. <laughs> I couldn't find it. It's easier to just change it in CD for me. I wonder if this is going well. Oh, we'll see if we get food points. Should be good, right? Because this is uh, Nicholas cooking. Like, it's very good. Oh, uh, on the opening night of Hugh Martin's latest film, The Color of Simoleons, Katarina discovers that the, that the reels have arrived damaged. Most of the film is fine, but a few sections won't run cleanly through the projector unless the reels attached. Should Katarina splice the film back together or take the chance and substitute the art film she made in high school? What? No! If she does the splice she's probably gonna put it in the wrong order, but I think that's better. <sighs> Katarina splices the errant segments of the color of simoleons back together, but not having ever seen the movie she can't be sure she's got them in the right order. Told ya. <laughs> But the show must go on. Katarina's version turns out to be better than the original. A studio rep meets Katarina after the screening and informs her that the studio is planning to release it on DVD as the director's cut, but will want Katarina's final approval. Katarina promotes herself to home video editor. Oh, well, that's nice. Then they will probably have money to adopt another child. Oh my goodness. Uh, things happens. She was promoted, yes. The amazing Shmooty Mooty and his merry band of acrobatic aquatic wombrats ran into disaster during the morning rehearsal at a local water park. Shmooty Mooty's assistant left the wombrat cage open in between set changes and now there are rogue wombrats running all over the park. Oh no! The park is in dire need of an elite professional verminator to provide a fast fix the Womrat problem before the park opens in less than an hour. This type of task is in the job description for Buster. But then again, that's a lot of Womrats. Should Buster take the job? I think so. Yes, do it. Oh no! Buster rounds up all the Womrats within a few hours, but does not employ the necessary gentle touch. Poor Shmooty Mooty finds his return Womrats to be in quite a disarray, slobbered, soaked, and in a very unhealthy fashion. Shmooty Mooty is furious with such a blatant mishandling of his lovable furred rodents and charges Buster 450 simoleons in damages. Oh no, that's awful. We don't have that kind of money. Uh, well, uh, uh, apparently we do. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, everyone should have aged up now. Yes, so Niklas is now actually 44. Katarina is 27. Chanel is 24. And Debbie is 14. And uh, we have money to pay all the bills. And I think we have 
money for an adoption fee as well. So I think tomorrow we can invite the orphanage intendant and uh, have an inspection. And I think that's going to go fine because we have no loans and no unpaid bills. So it will uh, be fine. Uh, I think Katarina should talk to the headmaster uh, and Chanel should too. Oh, we already have 88 points from the food. That was really good food. So let's just have a chat with the headmaster and see what, if he likes talking to us and see if we get some schmooze points. Uh, don't flirt with him, I don't think. Did Nicholas just get home? Nicholas returned from work. Nicholas earned 275 today. They have a lot of income, don't they? Uh, what's happening now? Who's calling? What What is happening? Oh, right! He is adopting Debbie. Uh, Debbie. So now he got the memory of adopted Debbie. Fantastic. We only need two more points. Schmooze. Schmooze about school. I wonder if that will work. What's her relationship with this man? 12. Not great. I think you can get point without doing the smooch action. But now I'm gonna try it. Oh! See, we have 97 points now, so we made it, I think. Uh, don't do anything stupid now. Now he's all happy. The headmaster is impressed with your family. Debbie just got into private school. Did that fulfill her want to do that? Yes. She's all happy now. Oh, this is not your bed. You should be sleeping over here, I think. Sleep in pajamas. And Niklas and Katarina is very happy together. I'm, I'm glad for them. I mean, she's she's all over the place when I play other sims, but when I play her, she seems to be behaving herself. No, you are not supposed to sleep there either. You can take one of these beds. I think there is a mod out there where you can like assign beds to sims, but I don't have that. <laughs> hmm, what are they doing now? Oh, yeah, I put a little bench here in case someone uh, wants to, you know, sit down and enjoy the surroundings or something like that. I don't know. See? <laughs> She's got a lounge now. Well, it's in the middle of the night and I think it's best if they both go to bed. It's a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, because if they still have the thousand simoleons tomorrow, I'm gonna invite... Wait, when they do they... He does have work from no, uh, 3 to 9, so it's gonna have to be in the morning. But I think Nicholas will uh, um, summon over the orphanage intendant to, uh, to see if they can adopt another baby or like a child or whatever they do have. It is Sunday morning and everybody's getting ready for the big day, uh, like, sh or the big day, <laughs> the day in general. Oh. Chanel is apparently practicing a bit. I really need to get her some other clothes. That doesn't really look right. She's a dancer, not a football player. Debbie, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Oh no, I have the cat problem. Oh no. I had this problem in another family and I solved it by switching out the bed. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure why this happens. But it seems to me that the double beds are problematic in general. So there's nothing weird with this bed though. But it, it messes the cats up. Um, no, this isn't like a standard bed. But I guess, like, let's try and have this one instead. Now they don't have money for the adoption. Uh, that's not my fault. Should I give them extra money for that or not? I'm not sure. We'll see. Because, see, now the cat is fine. <laughs> It was like glitching out uh, over and over again, but then as soon as they change the bed, it's fine. I think what happens is the cat is trying to be on the bed and it's not supposed to and some bug happens. I have some mod or anything, something that glitches them out. I'm not sure what it is. But the error log uh, references the bed, so I switch it out and it's fine. Question if if I can switch to another bed. Uh, we don't know. But I'm gonna pretend like we have the money because we do know that we are going to get... I mean, Chanel here is going to earn some money. So we, we are going to afford to adopt a child tomorrow. So this day I'm going to summon over 
the orphanage intendant because Nicholas needs to do that before he goes to work. Uh, I'm just gonna need to get a summoner. So I'm bending the rules as per usual, but it, it's it's fine. So uh, he can have his bath first. I wonder if we should like call her first and say, come here. Oh, I interrupted his bath, didn't I? It's fine. Oh, they need to like, her name is Kimmy. Don't you wish you could do this in The Sims 4? It's so easy to find people. <laughs> like when you have them in alphabetical order, you just find them. Okay, just, uh, oh, I can invite her over. Just, let's just invite her over. Let's see if she comes. I think she will. It's always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, hurry up and mop this up. You can't have that when she is. Wait, do we have everything? I'm just gonna check the list here that I made. There's an available bed. Yes, there is. Uh, we have to have a shower. Yes, we do. We have a fridge. We have a stove. We have a counter. And we have lots of fun stuff. Yes. And things cannot be dirty or broken. They are not. As far as I can tell, it's fine. We can like bring the newspaper in. It will look better. <laughs> but it was good enough for the headmaster. So it should be good enough for, for her too. Here she is. Greet her. Now the rules that I have uh, previously set doesn't say anything about what relationship we need to get with her. So I don't think she doesn't have to like the people in the house. She just looks and sees like, okay, this is a good home. Oh, hello. Should we like uh, offer her some food? Serve breakfast pancakes. That will impress her. Um, are you just gonna stand there? Apparently so. Maybe she will want to talk to Debbie because she wants to know that the previous child that was adopted is having a good time over here. So maybe after she's done on the toilet we could talk to her. Mm, just have a little chat. Wait, she is cleaning up something. Oh, okay. And of course she has a pretty good relationship with Kimmy because she lived with her for a while. But, okay. Now that didn't go so well. Hey, call to meal guests. And Debbie, you could also grab a plate because everyone else is eating. Oh, there was already a plate on the on the table. <laughs> okay, this looks weird. But <laughs> was that a pet coming home or no, it's Katarina's turn to go to work. So much is happening. She wants to go on vacation, go to vacation home, and she wants to ask its sim on a date. Well, I'm gonna lock that in because that coincides with her lifetime one to have a lot of dream dates. What is she? So you want to adopt another kid? Uh, well, you seem to have all the amenities. It's fine. Chanel is in the middle of class moving from group stretches to some step exercises when she feels a slight twinge in her ankle. She's not sure whether it's a momentary thing or an actual injury. Her class is excited and ready to go. Should Chanel continue the class or not? Well, I don't think she should because like that could be serious. Chanel decides to take care of her ankle before it gets worse. She explains the situation of the class and asks them to continue without her. Everyone is supportive of her decision and wishes her good luck. At the doctor's it's revealed that her ankle is on the verge to a major injury. The doctor patches it up, saying that it will recover even stronger than before. Chanel gains a body skill point. Well, it's important to listen to your body and if it tells you something, then you should yeah, listen to it. The pets are behaving. <laughs> this little thing over here means that they are currently doing something that you could you could praise them or scold them for. Uh, so we could praise the dog for eating dog food and not eating human food. And it will learn to do that more. And we could scold the cat for being on the bed as well. Scold for using a sim bed. Actually very not handy having a pet occupying the sims bed when you want it. But we can't get in there because the cat is in the way. Whatever will we do? <laughs> What does Debbie really want? Her lifetime want is earn a hundred thousand. Okay. Well, if that is what you want to do, then you should get a job too. But is that a smart idea? I don't, I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I'm going to do it. 
<laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh, I forgot to check if um, if Mindy had good grades or not. But the dog is destroying the furniture. Not good. And Tusse is having uh, troubles. Where is Tusse? What are you doing? Oh no, not again. If I delete it, I, d I think I lose it. Can I cancel? See, see, this is what happens. Now it's having trouble with one of the singles beds and I don't know which one it is. Well, maybe it helps just moving the beds around. Not sure. Like if we just put them over here. I wish I knew what is actually causing this. Well, I just deleted all the beds and <laughs> bought new ones exactly like them and reset the money. I... I don't, I don't know why this keeps happening, um, but there is an opening in the education career track as a teacher's aide. Um, what, what, what did she, what did I say her hobby was? Like it was science, wasn't it? So education is, I think, yeah, that, that fits. Congratulations on your new job. So now she has education job as well and uh, in order to get promoted she needs to learn some cleaning so let's have her do that maybe in that case maybe Nicholas should talk more with this lady here <laughs> he doesn't have time to prepare for a promotion because he needs to be trying to, to to get the children that he needs oops that didn't go so well ask what she likes to talk about so we know she likes to talk about prisons what is that oh uh she likes to talk about crime apparently more crime that's what she likes to talk about okay well then if we talk to her then we can change change topic to crime and see if she uh, likes that what are they talking now like about moving i don't know well, that worked much better he also wants to talk to a relative so let's have let's try and talk to debbie then it's been a so so week i want this i want to make this week better yeah look this in might not have been a mistake because like technically technically he gained a child so i fulfilled that for him sue me if you if you don't like that but that's what i did oh no he now he wants to buy a crib and everything okay a local studio town music video director has asked katarina to cut together some stock eight millimeter footage he need he needs to round out the transitions for a video uh katarina only has a few hours so she doesn't have the time to shoot any new fo footage but her stock of eight millimeters reels isn't very extensive the director has asked for a single theme that will fit with a frantic but youthful nature of the video katarina searches through her archives and settles on two options a reel she has of sonny sim city's own tragic class or some old footage of bunny rabbits sneaking carrots out of the small residential garden. Well, I would, frantic but youthful, I would do the rabbits. Katarina is watching the rabbit footage when inspiration strikes and Katarina realizes exactly what she needs to do. With only a few minutes before her deadline, she trims all the footage into 30, 37 jarringly sparse one second clips, recolors all the carrots blue and plays the entire second backwards her vision complete she hand delivers the eight millimeter reel to the director he cues it up and the two of them sit in silence as the footage rolls afterwards the director is speechless speechless he informs katarina that he no longer has the need of material goods and signs over his net worth of 75,000 simoleons to her before heading off to live amongst the furry woodland creatures really <laughs> <laughs> that really happened? What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! How to get rich in The Sims 2? Apparently. Um, yeah, I think they can adopt tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is the adoption day. Yes, 
they are approved. They have uh, monies and stuff. Okay, that's awesome. Um, he wants to buy a lot of baby stuff because I, I said that he now is afraid of getting a baby. All right, okay. Well, I don't think you're gonna get a baby because there's no baby at the orphanage. There is a child and a runaway teen that I hope will be present mm -hmm. when you get go over there. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we'll have to sort something out. But he, because one of the children at the orphanage actually ran away. And uh, yeah, I hope he comes back. <laughs> when is work for her? Oh, not until tomorrow. All right. Debbie has gained a point of cleaning skill by cleaning the Krampft Industries Hubba Economy Bathtub. All right. Well, that's good. She only needs one more cleaning skill point to get a promotion. Oh, the phone is the phone is ringing. The cat is on the bed again. Scold for using a sim bed. I hope that it doesn't do it anymore. Chanel has returned home. This family is so rich. Yeah, you go have a bath. You deserved it. Take a bath. Tusse is glitching out again. Where is Tusse? Yeah, you're not supposed to be on the bed. Can I see what they have learned? All right, now it's the double bed that is the problem. Okay, let's get another one. <laughs> they have a lot of money, so we could get a nice, the nicest bed, and that will help them with energy and everything, and probably help the cat not glitch out. Scold the cat for using the sim bed. You glitch out when you do that. Don't do it. There, please learn and stop glitching out. <laughs> I hope that helps. I think it will, maybe. I don't know. The carpool for Buster will arrive in about an hour. Uh, hello, Katarina. Are we still friends? I don't know. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, we forgot all the food. Oh, well, she is very neat, it seems. Well, sort of. Well, she needs another cleaning skill point. Maybe I should just have her well, mop this up uh, and then study cleaning. It is winter, and when it's winter, uh, you, you gain more, you gain a relationship better with your family. So they might benefit from taking advantage of that, but Chanel is in the bath <laughs> and so on. Katarina got home and she got promoted to freelance photographer. Wait, what is her dream? Well, she has wants to have dream dates. Yeah. Should she be sneaky and ask someone else than Nicholas? He gets off work much later so she could like go somewhere with someone i think she's like sh she's out of patience <laughs> she's been waiting for nicholas and, and didn't work out so she's gonna call someone now uh i think i'm gonna go with the one that she has the most attraction for for so i'm gonna sort by bolts and see what happens oh I don't okay hmm what is their relationship. I think he like cheated on her. Uh, you breach orange answering machine. I'm not at home. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? They know a vampire. Well, let's try the next one. Is this the same Tawura that lives with Yaki? I'm not sure, but, but let's ask him out on a date and see what happens. Uh, we are going to go to a community lot. Uh, and we're not bringing anyone because that's uh, the way uh, Katarina works. Oh, the taxi will swing by to pick you up shortly. Yeah, okay. Uh, where are we going? Maybe we go over there to the pool or the garden. Let's go to the garden because I, I went to the to the pool recently. So we want we want to go to a new place. <laughs> Everyone aged up, and now Niklas is forty five. Katarina is 28, Chanel is 25, and Debbie is 15. All right, here we are, and let's hope there's no one that we uh, have some kind of affair. Where's Tawira then? We were meeting Tawira here. Is he, isn't he coming? Hey, <laughs> hello. Are we on a date or not? We're not. How is this? How does this work? Um, that's odd. Okay. Well, let's. Let's try and invite him here then and see if he comes. Everything changed. Now she wants to get with David. Well, I did ask Tore, so so he 
Let's Lopa? try again with him. Ah, Let's see you. what happens. Okay, he said he will come. Hello, uh, Chandler. Ah. Wait, <laughs> wait. Who who is here and who do we have? Oh, here over here is Krista. She is going to have her baby soon. Next time, next time I play her, I think she might have the baby. Can't wait. <laughs> Where is Tore? What is happening? Okay, now he's here somewhere. There he is. And she wants to tell a dirty joke. So let's start with that. Now remember, she just doesn't want to have any dates. She wants it to be dream dates. So it's very important to her that we fulfill all the wants. Whatever comes up here, I'm gonna do. Wow. Now she wants to woohoo and all of that all of that okay do we have is there nowhere to do that in this lot found a cheat to enable build mode uh i don't think this is gonna stick on here <laughs> like when we leave the lot this is going to disappear where should i put this this seems oh, this seems like a good place for a park bench maybe we put two down for symmetry like over here I also have move objects on it seems. Okay, so now I think there's gonna be... There's no adjuster on this lot either? That's silly. Well, I'm not exactly sure why this isn't happening. Why isn't there a choice to, to have some uh, nice time on the bench? I don't know. <laughs> well, um, let, let's just make out again and see if it pops up somehow we are having a great date maybe we could go somewhere else because this lot doesn't really do what i needed to do <laughs> yeah let, let's let's call a taxi and see if we can go somewhere else because i'm not getting the option to to do a woohoo <laughs> over here so maybe we need to do we need to be somewhere else and we go to another lot and where should we go well i do know well let's do the water hole i think there's a hot tub in there so i think it's a good idea I'm not sure i think you can just go to another lot and your date should follow you i think <laughs> is there a hot tub in here there's no hot tub here why isn't there a hot tub <laughs> let's have a little sheet code over there and let's put a hot tub somewhere like maybe back here it, it's nice isn't it isn't this nice nice spot for a hot tub yeah it's very nice i don't know why it's called a water hole when there's no water that's silly well she goes to the hot tub to see what it is okay fantastic then maybe we could get in and ask him <laughs> to join and she wants to make out also so let's let's try and do that first and then she doesn't want to like have children per se but her husband wants them so maybe maybe she tries for baby wasn't the right choice okay oh dear is because like if, if she gets pregnant then uh her husband is probably gonna be happy uh, th that's probably her reasoning behind this. So she doesn't use protection, that's basically what we're doing. And also, this guy is cute. So it's gonna be cute babies if she has them, but I'm, I'm not sure she can have babies. Also, that this is totally against the rules. She's not allowed to have. Oh dear! <laughs> you know who just saw that? The orphanage intendant just saw that. I wonder what she thinks about this whole business. Maybe she doesn't care. Uh, they have a lot of money, so maybe she looks the other way. Look, it feels like that she looks the other way. Uh, this is now a dream date, so she could uh, end it. I think we're gonna end it. End the date. It's, it's a dream date. And she wants to have 
five first dates. All right, so then we gotta date people we haven't dated before. Uh, so, but I'm not gonna do that now because uh, one date per day, I think, is reasonable. I think, <laughs> I think uh, her work is done. She's gonna go home now. She had her little fun. She also wants to gain a skill point. Does she need something for work? No. Well, who knows what will happen. All right, uh, Katarina just arrived uh, home again and uh, like no one except <laughs> Kimmy over here that is here saw her and knows about anything. And I, I'm not sure. I don't think Kim is gonna tell on her. I think she has figures like that is not none of my business like as long as they can provide a like good home for the children then uh, this family is okay to adopt chanel wants to reach body level three so like if kimmy over here could like go away uh i think we can ask her to leave i don't think that's hostile or anything and then we can use this equipment to uh, to gain a skill point. Goodbye. Because she's been here all day. Uh, it, enough. <laughs> Feels weird to ha just have her hanging around. Uh, Tora just delivered some uh, flowers. I think Katarina's just gonna sell those. Get rid of the evidence, basically. Oh, she wants to just continue gaining body skill points. And see a ghost. All right, she can just continue doing that. Niklas got home, he brought some money home, nothing special about that. And I think everyone is gonna get ready for bed soon. It's time for that. Oh, Chanel took that bed. Well, I just realized uh, it's not smart to, to keep all this cash over here. So, I mean, it was Katarina that, that got all most of it. So I'm, I'm gonna put most of it in her bank accounts. Uh, deposit like maybe she deposit like 50,000 and then like Nicholas can can have some of it because they're married so now she has a bank account with 50,000 since she is being unfaithful a lot there's a risk of uh, divorce so uh, she, she should be uh, like taking care of her interests so that if she needs to move out she has some money but deposit some of the money oh now the dog is having an issue <laughs> oh my goodness and of course it is the double bed maybe if i can just put bed in in someone's inventory he needs to get out of it first oh did the dog give up <laughs> <laughs> Did it give up? I think so. I think it gave up. What is it doing? Uh, well, okay. Skull using Simbed. Now Nicholas has a bank account with 15,000. Maybe if I do this, because this way I don't lose money when I do this. Yeah, that solved it. <laughs> so, okay, so let's do that next time. <clears throat> that was uh, better money-wise. Okay, now... now <gasps> Okay, well, this is fantastic. Katarina is having a child and I don't think it's Nicholas' child. Mm, it might be. They did try for baby, but I'm having a feeling that this uh, Tore character actually fathered this child that she is carrying. What do you think? Write in the comments down below. And uh, I think this is a good time to leave them. It's Monday morning and we have played for two days. And I think that is a reasonable time period. As I said before, I'm trying to find a good period of time to play for each episode and I think I have decided on two days per episode uh, which makes me re revisit every family twice each season and it's yeah I, I just think it's logom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh also do you think it's gonna be a boy or a girl oh i love when there's babies on the way um but they're still going to adopt because tomorrow needs his babies <laughs> he wants to marry off six children and that's a lot so he needs his children so they're still going to adopt um but yeah until next time have a super duper time don't forget to press all the youtube buttons and take care goodbye